All right, we are recording. Hello, this is Justin LSL and my partner Trevor Scott. We are pre presenting project one for CECS 326. Here we are going to compile step one where we have GCC the uh, .c file. We're gonna make the output file as CECS project one P1 as in part one. And we're going to compile with a pthreads library without synchronization. So you can see we're about to run the code right now. And we're gonna give um an we're gonna give a letter as the input, and we're gonna see that it's not going to accept it because we need a number of threads. So you see the second parameter must be an integer. Now we run the file again, but we're going to give it an integer value of four. And you're going to see it's going to run with four threads. And without synchronization, uh, let's hit enter. And you're going to see over here, a DC where it says thread zero sees so final value of 69, 72, 78. And they're not at the end. They should all be synchronized at the end. So they all have the same ending point at the same time. So now we're going to hand it over to Trevor. All right, hello. So I'm just gonna go over the part two, which in this case is gonna be synchronized. So basically, we're just gonna do P2, which could be which is meant for part two, and then we're gonna do dot, uh, well the slash D, and we're gonna do P thread sync. The reason why we do pthread sync is because we're going to be able enabling uh, the if diff. So now we can press enter, and now we're going to do we're going to run the program, but we're going to show you that it won't take a character. So let's do a. Must be an integer. We do four. And then bam, we can see that the threads are all synced up. And uh, that's pretty much it. Just wanted to show this demonstration. I hope you guys have an awesome day, whoever may be watching. And yeah, thank you.